about two and a half years ago, um, Gavin had a fall. I was buying flowers for Carla the day before Poppy Lou's birthday, and um, I became ill. Uh, and um, I passed out. He went to the hospital and they sent him home with exhaustion. And then a week later, he actually had a seizure and discovered that it was uh, a bleed on the brain, um, which is caused by a tumour which had actually burst. First things, obviously, that went through my mind was I need to make sure that Carla and Poppy Lou was OK. Um... You look like you're a man on a mission, then. Hello. Oh, yeah. Well, we first met each other, it'd probably be 15 years ago now, weren't it? Oh. Mm. And it wasn't flirtatious or nothing like that. No, it was I, didn't, just... I didn't fancy it. No. no. You're fairly comfortable at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Apart from every time we move, I just leak. Mm. <laughs> I did actually tell one of my friends, yeah, she's a hot little biscuit, but I didn't... Uh... <laughs> but, yeah. Easier oh, said than done. At the same time, wasn't looking for that at that moment in time. What's going on? <laughs> You're all strapped in, aren't you? So if you just take it away from your head, <laughs> over your head, and then we can get rid of it this time. I'm not doing it. I can't even see what I'm doing. Let's see what <laughs> That's it. Right. He'd just come out of a relationship and he was telling me, you know, he was struggling a little bit. And I just turned around and said, well, there's somebody out there when you least expect it. Don't worry about it, it'll come in time. There he is, look. Liquid. Sexy. I might take these back home with me, actually. You can take them home with you if that's what you want to do. They're yours to keep. You didn't think it'd be you? No, definitely not. No. I wasn't, I wasn't the least bit interested. I didn't think it'd be you either, to be fair. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I thought it was going to be Kylie Minogue, didn't I? But, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then You should days. be so lucky. I oh, know. <laughs> but then I'll just, you know. <laughs> And then two Aww. years later. Two years later. No, two years later after that. Then. Oh. We hooked up again. Yeah, through mutual friends and. Just clicked. Had a first kiss and that was it. Mm. You was fucked. Couldn't resist me. <laughs> Here you are now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So were you engaged for long before you got married? Two years, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Harry Bow Ring. Harry Bow Ring. Your fingers are quite small, aren't they? So I just got a ring box from the jewellers and put a Harry Bow Ring in it and proposed with that. Aww. So. I'm romantic. I, I I'm do really all. Not. You're getting better. Did you know he was going to come? No, clue. Really? No, no. I will say I love you now and again. Yeah, now and again, that's good. Now and again, that's. You are getting better. I do try. <laughs> yeah, I always like to buy flowers on Valentine's Day, and I buy flowers a lot anyway, but um, and presents and stuff. Yeah. Anniversaries, anniversaries, anniversary. was getting together. <laughs> At one stage, you was like, "You stop buying me flowers all the time." And I was like, "What?" But no, you like them, don't you? So it's mm. yeah. Four times I told him no. I thought he was taking the nick. Yeah, she thought I was having a laugh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Before I met Gavin, I didn't really want kids. But as soon as we got together, um, we knew instantly that we were... It was going to work. Yeah. And it just seemed a natural thing to want children. Yeah. Oh, that smells nice. What's that? Coffee. This is our second baby. We got a daughter, Poppy Lou, and now we're going to have a little boy. Reggie's very awake this time of morning. He is. I hope that's not a sign of things to come for you. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, we've got to yet teach Poppy the word of a lion on the weekends. Ah, uh, we need to change her clocks, don't we, really? But even then, she can't she's still... She can't tell the time she's... yet. In total, it took us three years um, to actually have Poppy Lou, didn't it? And we had... Nine miscarriages, wasn't it? Throughout a three-year period. And each miscarriage was hard. 
I lost the ball before 12 weeks, really, only 12 weeks, I think. So, uh, Plus then obviously Tommy, wasn't it? Yeah, Tommy was the... The 10th pregnancy. When I fell pregnant with uh, our little boy, Tommy, we thought, yeah, we've done it because we reached the 12 weeks. Had the 21 week scan and it turned out that he was quite severely brain damaged um, <clears throat> and that his legs hadn't developed properly. Tommy was your first? As in, you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was. She always fear the worst now, so. Obviously, passed away and had a funeral for him, didn't we? And Yeah. Obviously, he's still our boy and always will be. We go up every... Every... Every week, don't every we? Week. And put flowers on and... With Poppy as well. Don't all of them are coming back with us because we can't really say why it's happening. We don't really know. And if you get an answer, then... You can draw a line under it and say, OK, that's fine. I don't think it's really real yet. Things going round, I was like, oh, no, I don't want to say it. No, you don't even want to think it. Like, yeah, yeah. Because we didn't think it'd happen again. And bless him, <laughs> here he is. Uh, about two and a half years ago, um, Gavin had a fall. I was buying flowers for Carla the day before Poppy Lou's birthday and um, I became ill. Uh, and um, I passed out. He went to the hospital and they sent him home with exhaustion. And then a week later, he actually had a seizure and discovered that it was uh, a bleed on the brain, um, which is caused by a tumour which has actually burst. First things, obviously, that went through my mind was I need to make sure that Carla and Poppy Lou was OK. Um, and obviously, after what we've been through together, <sighs> I just obviously thought, God, I'm going to lose it all. So. Trouble. Mm -hmm. Definitely awesome. Thanks. As soon as you hear the word tumor, you think, oh, it's cancer. So it was about four hours waiting to see if it was cancerous or or not. And oh, the relief when it wasn't. And then it was like, right, what's the next step now? What do we do now? There's a, an operation that got offered that they could probably take the tumour away. But there's a risk of 50% paralysing me down the one side, the left side where the tumour is. Um, and I wouldn't risk that. I'd rather put up with the side effects from the medication so I can still run around with the children and, and still do what I do. So what made you go for the uh, bulldog this time? It's on my bucket list. Yeah. Because I've obviously had the brain chip now. Makes you have a different perspective on that. Oh, yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, it does indeed. Yeah, mm -hmm. live every day. He's still pretty poorly with it, to be honest. It's always in pain. And it's hard. It's hard to see him like that. Sorry. <clears throat> So he wants to go back, is that now? Sometimes it's hard. How much more can we take? But that's the thing that gets us through, is that we are quite a positive couple. Can I go back up? <laughs> the humour always helps. That's it up! <laughs> I'm back to where I was. <laughs> Poppy and Carla just keep me going, and, and I just get up and get on with it, really. I just want to feel they keep me going. Can I go back down then? No, I'll uh, leave it to the nurse to do it for me. It's made us realise more than ever how much how much we do need each other. I feel like you're in a zoo. <laughs> it's 
my soulmate. <laughs> and I couldn't imagine my life without him. It still seems a bit like a dream. The journey's made us closer as a husband and wife and, and also helped us deal with things together rather than trying to deal with them separately. He makes me strong and the way he is and the way he has been throughout all this, he is an amazing person. To hold our little boy the first time, it's going to be probably the second miracle um, for us. And a big sigh of relief for me. Okay. I want him to have his dad's personality. His dad's personality is lovely. Um, I hope he has blue eyes as well. I've always wanted a baby with brown hair, blue eyes. Yeah. You've just got to make the most of every day. So, yeah, it's changed. It's changed us. Me, definitely. Hello, my daddy. Oh. Especially with my illness as well. You know, even if I'm not feeling like going to the park or doing something, I'll make sure I do it. Because it's about putting memories in, in their minds and out as well, so... Oh. I've got you, sweetheart. I've got you, yes. Oh, was that hard work? Hey, Can you see mummy? Having our son now for our relationship is a bit of a high five moment, really, to say, you know what, we've done it again. Yeah. That's a good boy. We're going to be all right. I'm going to be a good dad to my son and be a good husband. Are you looking at mummy? We'll be okay. Are you looking at mummy? We've achieved so much now together. So for me and our relationship, it's like, yeah, we've done it. Let's just enjoy now.